You're not going to want to miss this episode of the AI show where we talk to Saumya Sony and the cool things she's doing with AI and she's only in high school. Make sure you tune in. Hello, my friends. Thank you so much for being here. I'm here with Saumya. Why don't you introduce yourself, my friend? Hi, I'm so excited to be here. My name is Saumya and I am a senior in high school and I'm also the CEO and founder of a nonprofit called AI for Environment. And the mission for this nonprofit is to use technologies such as AI, BI, and IoT to generate awareness of and solve global environmental challenges. Uh, I believe that AI has the potential to transform and revolutionize the world on a path of progression and prosperity for all living things. So that's why I decided to create this nonprofit. And that's amazing. Yeah. I also uh, love exploring the world around me. I have been to 31 countries mm -hmm. and it's so amazing to see the culture and diversity all around the world. It feels like I need to start living life like you, Samia. That's amazing. What inspired you to start all of this? Yes. Yeah, so ever since I was young, I've always been passionate about doing something meaningful for the environment and saving living organisms like birds and animals from the harmful effects of global warming. So I first began the expansion of my knowledge by taking time to learn about the impacts of global warming on the environment. And from there, I looked at other factors which contribute to global warming, such as um, the scarcity of resources and um, ozone layer depletion, deforestation, and uh, species depletion. And I also took an environmental science course at Stanford and after that, I became inspired by Microsoft's AI for Earth program. And from that, then I decided to use the potential of artificial intelligence to solve environmental issues. And therefore, that led to me now creating the AI for Environment nonprofit. This is really cool. And you brought along a video. I'm going to go ahead and show it so people can get a sense for what it is that you built. Are you okay with that? Yes, go ahead. Let's do it. Hi everyone, my name is Samia Sony, and I am a high school junior in Washington. Other than being a high school junior, I am also the CEO and founder of a nonprofit called AI for Environment. So let's first talk about AI for Environment. This nonprofit is on a mission to use technologies including AI, IoT and business intelligence to generate awareness of and solve global environmental challenges. Together, we can make a difference. In this nonprofit, I created AI for Birds, which is an interactive bird recognition phone and web app, which can identify a bird in real time. Now it's time to, for you all to bring out your phones as well and follow along. So after I click on AI for Birds, and after clicking all the start nows and click here's, we can see that this is the home page. And in this app, you can see a bird attribute report. Again, we can click on the endangered category status and click zoom in to get a better view. Click on African gray. And as we can see, this African gray parrot is found in Angola, Africa, mainly. And we can also click on, let's say, the great green macaw. And as we can see, it is mainly found in Costa Rica. And along with displaying all the unique attributes about the great green macaw, there is also fun fact down here below. So, now we can go to the record tab and we can click on choose an image. Now we want to do a real time um, bird recognition application. So let's click on camera and then let's search up a random bird species. Let's say the mallard duck. I have it open right here and I'm just going to take a picture of this and let's see if it identifies it correctly. Let's say this random picture. 
I'm going to click use photo. And then show result. And as you can see, it identified it correctly with a 98% probability that this is the Mallard duck using Microsoft Custom Vision AI. So in conclusion, I believe this app can ignite an appreciation and passion for birds with all the interactive Power BI visuals and fun facts. It's time to understand the detrimental effects of global warming so we can help prevent it. And with increased awareness around the importance of birds, we can all be inspired to fight climate change. For more information about this bird recognition app, please go to AIforbirds.com, which is the first link. And to learn more about what this AI for Environment nonprofit is doing, please go to the second link at AIforenvironment.org. Thank you. Well, this is impressive. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't doing stuff like this in high school. That's for sure. How did you figure all of this out? So with all my passion and love for birds, I always wanted to raise awareness and make a positive impact on these amazing species. So I first started learning about uh, data science and AI through courses at my school and also trying to reach out to summer courses such as Inspire AI. And I also reached out and took courses on Udemy for Power BI. And after I learned about how I could use Power BI, I started with a data set of birds from open data sources. And I created simple reports with the AI for Birds app using uh, Microsoft Custom Vision AI and Power BI. And I believe that AI has the potential to accelerate global efforts to protect the environment um, due to the intriguing behaviors of birds. And therefore I got inspired and lifted to create an app which could identify any bird that you were captivated by in real time. So again, that's why I built this app to raise awareness of the heartbreaking reality which most birds face around the world. I mean, this is Im impressive. Let's talk about the AI, which I, I'm a huge fan of. How hard was it to set all of it up? So I did run into challenges, but it was very encouraging from my parents encouraging me throughout the way. And I'm very grateful for that. So initially I first researched about bird populations and their global trends from the data that contains information for the past 24 years. And I then analyzed this data set and created interactive visuals using Power BI. And I also used cognitive services with Microsoft Custom Vision AI to upload 19,000 images from 315 bird species. And then things just started to get aligned as I moved forward with my app development. And yeah, I'm so proud of the work. That yeah, I mean, you should be. It's really cool. You you mentioned briefly that there could there were some challenges. Can you give us some insight into the challenges you ran into? Yes. So um, initially, with fewer images being trained in the model, the accuracy was not as good. Like initially, I was like, okay, let me see how let me see how good my app is. So I took my phone out and took a picture of a dove that I found and it identified it as a crow. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I need to train this more. So then I added more images. And as I said before, I got to a point of 19,000 bird images. And so now thankfully the model is more accurate. And along with this um, challenge, I did face other challenges. And I believe that that's the best part of developing a product. Um, seeing, identifying those challenges and overcoming them. And so after getting positive feedback from a nonprofit in Mexico and the Dominican Republic to create a Spanish version, I also launched a new version of the app with three different languages. So now AI for Birds is in English, Spanish, and Hindi. That's, again, super impressed. I'm I'm very curious to learn about some of the stuff you learned along the way that maybe you weren't expecting. 
So I believe the biggest takeaway from this project is that artificial intelligence can pave the way towards pursuing the sustainable development goals for protecting our environment. And so I really believe that I learned through this journey that uh, leveraging AI and IoT technologies can help enhance environmental sustainability. And I believe that change is necessary and with change comes compassion. So along with adding technical attributes to this web app, I also wanted to help build an understanding and empathy towards them. So I included fun facts and interesting um, statistics so that people can have a people can have a change being sparked within them when they're using the app. I mean, this is so cool. So what's next for you? What are you what are you working on next now that you've done this? Yeah, so right now, currently I'm partnering with a big nonprofit in India called Jan Jagran Kendra. And I'm also working with the Microsoft Azure Farm Beats team, along with farmers in India. And altogether, we're using this innovative Farm Beats technology to help farmers in India increase farm productivity and food yield while utilizing minimum natural resources. And I think that it's really important that we find efficient ways for uh, efficient farming because, you know, as time progresses, we're going to have to increase our food yield dramatically in the upcoming years. So coming up with sustainable approaches is key to also helping the environment. And we're using this by using AI, IoT, satellite imagery, and weather information. So it's really exciting because all this data can be used to predict what crop to sow and where to sow it, depending on different variables like temperature, humidity, soil moisture, et cetera. And with this, um, we are actually launching a new AI for Smart Farms app for farmers in India this week. So stay tuned for that. I'm really excited. <laughs> Holy cow. This is, again, super impressed. I, I'm I'm really excited to see what you do in the future. Whenever you have your big building, please think of me. When I retire, I will be the janitor at your building. Wonderful <laughs> question. Where can folks go to find out more? Yes. So to find more about my nonprofit, you can go to simple AIforenvironment.org. And to learn more about AI for birds, it's AIforbirds.com. And yeah, stay tuned there for future projects. And uh, well, this is awesome. Thank you so much for spending some time with us, Salmia. Super impressed. I'm super excited. Whatever you need from me, you let me know, okay? Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to have to be here. Thank you. Awesome. We'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. <laughs>